Do you like wine? I'm Larry Menti. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. If you do, and who doesn't, there's a wine weekend coming up along the Jersey Shore. Here to talk more about that is Jim Flynn, who comes back to the show from the Jersey Shore Restaurant Week, and executive chef Peter Chicos from the Ocean Place Resort and Spa. Did I get the name right? Yes, you get it right. Thank you. And, and I can tell you're a chef, either that or you just have <laughs> an unusual style, oh, no, <laughs> dress no. style. Uh, tell us about the, the wine weekend. Well, a, as you know, we do restaurant week uh, twice a year in November and April. And, uh, you know, the summer at the Jersey Shore kind of takes care of itself, but the winter is pretty desolate here. So we wanted to come up with something that would be fun for the middle of the winter. Um, and of course, everybody loves food and wine. So we created uh, Jersey Shore Wine Weekend about four years ago, and we do that every February. And above all else, you're a marketer, and that's brilliant because I know people that when they hear the word wine will go anywhere once they hear, hear that word. Exactly right, exactly right. And I'm one of them, by the way. Uh, you, you were part of the event, obviously, and you have a, a Great American Steakhouse dinner. The first dinner is Friday evening on the 19th of February. We're having a steak dinner, start with a steak house style salad, uh, onion soup, gratin, and uh, dry aged filet mignon, and also a choice of uh, Atlantic halibut. And wine. And wine at each course. And, and is there a, do we follow the rules anymore? Are there certain wines that go with certain foods still, or is it really just open to anything? I think most people are still following the rules. Certain wines, you know, red wine going with red meat, and. Sometimes people take uh, um, away from that, but usually people follow that. Because, because White wine with fish. Yeah, I, that's what I was just going to say. I like right. Pinot Noir, so even if they serve fish, I like the, I like the Pinot Noir. Right. And you also have a demonstration on, on Spanish tapas. On yeah. Saturday noon. What is that, by the way? It's, uh, tapas is a, a Spanish bar food, small plate, small portions, and uh, we're going to do uh, four items next uh, lunch Saturday, which is uh, manchego cheese with queen's paste. We're going to do a white bean salad, um, Basque uh, scramble eggs with chorizo, onions, and peppers. And also I'm going to demonstrate how to cook uh, uh, spicy uh, uh, shrimp with uh, um, um, hot peppers. Oh, great. And we'll, we'll find out more about your place and how to get there and sure. information on that in one second. Uh, well, how many restaurants are taking place in this? Well, there are no restaurants taking place. This is purely um, wine tastings, dinners, lunches. Um, throughout the day on Saturday after the dinner on Friday night, we have sessions. So oh, we, nice. we start out with one that um, is for Alagote, which is a, a white wine from Burgundy, and it, it has uh, tastes like a warm croissant, so we're calling it the breakfast wine. Um, we're doing a uh, blind tasting of vintage champagnes. We're doing a tasting of uh, German Rieslings. Um, then we have a, a session called Hidden Gems, which are wines um, with grapes or, or different wines that people may not have heard of or tried. Um, and then we have a session called Second Labels. And we're going to be tasting wines from great wine houses that have a second label that's much less expensive. For example, uh, Chateau Beaucastle, which is a Chateau Neuf du Pape from France, um, has a secondary label, and it's probably a third of the price of the of the main one. So people will get an opportunity to taste those seconds. So, do any Jersey wines make it into this at all? Not yet. <laughs> But they're working on it, and they're getting better and better. And then we end the day with a, a grand tasting, which is on Saturday night. And people come, and there's probably 40 or 50 wines they can taste, and uh, wine, uh, cheese, and breads, and meats, and pâtés, and all those kinds of things. Has there been, have you seen at your restaurant a, an increase in the popularity of wine over the past several Most years? Most definitely. People are people getting uh, more comfortable with wines. And uh, most people used to drink beer. Now it's different uh, wines coming from the West Coast, uh, even the northern part of the West Coast, Chile, Argentina, um, Australia, producing very good wines, besides the French and uh, you know, domestic wine. And the fascinating thing about your event coming up is people like to be educated on wine now. It used to be that people just like to drink it. Now they really want to be a, a connoisseur. They want to be a wine connoisseur. And this helps them with that. Do yeah, that, that's half the fun, I think, is that the, the sessions are set up to be 
uh, tastings, but also educational. So they'll usually be somebody there from the winery or from the distributor or something to talk about the wines and, and give people some background on it and how they're grown and all those kinds of things. Now when they taste the wine, and I've always been fascinated by yeah. this. You're going to ask if they spit? <laughs> Yes. Uh, no. Everybody drinks every drop. <laughs> every drop? Every drop. Well, they're, you know, they're small tastings. They're, they're, you know, usually one or two ounces, but... Still, you mentioned a lot of wine. There is a lot of wine. We, now, somebody told me one time you drink water in between. Yes, you should, actually. We, we have that available for everybody, but two years ago, we had a whole group that made it through almost three quarters of the day and never showed up for the grand table. <laughs> <laughs> we saw them the next morning and they said, oh my God, we couldn't make it. So wait a second, I think I got the theme now. Right. That's half the fun, right. is, is not only tasting the wine, but drinking the wine and, and maybe the after effects. Right. We, we oh, call it a weekend of self-medicating. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, why don't you give me the address and how to find out more about it? That's One Ocean Boulevard in Long Branch. On, uh, this is an ocean place resort and spa hotel, and uh, the events take part of uh, in uh, February 19th and the 20th. February 19th and 20th, and do you have to get reservations for this? Yes. Okay. The hotel also has special rates for rooms, rooms. if people want to come for the whole weekend. Well, it, it sounds like, from what you're describing, <laughs> yeah, they, they almost have to get a room. And what are the prices for this? $139 for the room, which includes um, breakfast for two the next day and a, and a spa credit. Um, and then the individual sessions for the for the uh, uh, wine, wine weekend yeah. vary from thirty to fifty, sixty dollars, depending on the session. Wow, that's a great deal. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming in. Good luck with it. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Good seeing you again, Jim you. Flynn, Jersey Shore Restaurant Week and Executive Chef Peter Chicos from the Ocean Place Resort and Spa and their wine weekend is February 19th and 20th and you heard the rates uh, go online because you're gonna need reservations. This probably will sell out. That wraps it up for Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. Stick around for another thing.